Welcome back to another episode of NC Bass, and today we're at Walmart. We're gonna let the we're gonna do a let the wife pick the bait challenge. She's her knowledge of fishing is pretty low, so I'm not expecting too great of a bait. So this could be a good challenge. We'll see if she can pick something I can actually catch a fish on. We're gonna actually let her pick two. See if I can catch a fish on both those baits. And the way the way fish is going right now, it might be it might be pretty tough. So let's see how it goes. All right, the wife picks lure challenge. Let's see what she picks. What is she gonna choose? Two hard baits and one plastic bait. What's your final pick? Or you want to get it? First one. Popper. Cheapo Ozark Trail popper. I catch fish on popper, so I might be able to catch something on that. Looks like it's got junk hooks. Never tried Ozark Trail, but we'll try it. Frogs you like frogs? Fingers crossed here. Booyah. We're going to get the booyah. There we go. Good choice there. We hate lunker hunk frogs. Booyah. Little tiny booyah frog. You like that one? Yeah, plastic bait now. Rubbery baits. Gotta pick a rubber bait, Challenge looks doable so far. I like top waters. We've got two top waters. Oh, I'm doing good actually. It's been hard to hook a fish with that cheapo bait, but colors. I've been catching fish on a frog. Is it colors? Colors are okay. Yep. Just pick whatever. It's pretty in pink. The pink tail one. I think that's. Those, those are my kids. Yep, since we're in a hurry and kid wants to go. The Millican special, pink tailed worm. Been catching on ribbon tail, that should work. Let's see if we can make this challenge. Doable. Actually, maybe I can actually complete a challenge. That'd be a first. Is well, guys, I'm here on the local pond. I'm going to try to complete the wife pick lure challenge. She picked three. First one's this Booyah Pad Crusher. Little tiny guy. I like it. It looks really, I haven't had one this small. It actually comes with a decent skirt. It's only five bucks too, super cheap at Walmart. The black is gonna do good in this colored water. We've had a ton of rain. We're in between rains right now. We just had a storm come through. Sun came out, rain's coming in about an hour or two, so I need to hurry up and catch some fish. This pond's been tough though, so my hopes aren't too high, but the water is extremely high, so these fish have gotta be pushed up shallow. Hopefully we can catch some. But on this pad crusher, the legs aren't too long and it's a small frog, so I'm not I usually trim the legs, but I am gonna make one a little bit shorter than the other just to help it walk a little bit. When it's uneven it makes them walk a little better. And I'm throwing that on a on the frog and rod heavy action with the 50 pound braid. Which is a small frog, so it ain't as, as important. Then the Ozark Trail Popper, little tiny $1.74. It actually does not look bad. The hooks are junk, but you get a feathered hook. And I'm gonna throw it on 10 pound mono because these hooks are probably bend out. But these little fish have been hitting dragonflies, might hit both these baits. So maybe I can catch something. I've been struggling here though. I've been, it's been very hard to catch any fish here. And then on the power bait, pink tailed worm, fire tail. I think it's blue fleck, fire tail worm. Yep, blue fleck, fire tail, and power bait, seven inches. I've been using the gray colored one, so this could actually work. I could actually see me catching fish on this for sure. So we'll see how it goes. Oh my God. It's a giant, dude. I got a terrible hook set in him. That is a huge fish. 
Oh my God, on the tiny frog. That has got to be an eight pounder. That has got to be an eight pounder. He swall it's deep, so it scares me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the size of that fish. Woo! A giant. Ate the little frog. Woo! I might start letting my wife pick pick baits more often. Oh my god, guys. I'm shaking. Don't want to hurt this fish. Fish are too often. Oh, just barely hooked. Oh, shit. Just barely hooked. Ooh, I might have missed this. Nope. Oh, my God. Look at that. Go back to February, guys, and check out this fish. I caught the same fish. This is the king of the pond right here. She was seven and a half pounds. She looks about the same size, maybe a little bit skinnier, but maybe she got longer. Oh my God, I cannot believe I just caught this fish on the tiny little tiny frog on a terrible hook set. This fish has lost a lot of weight. Seven point one eight guys. She's lost a lot of weight. Seven one eight, the giant fish, black spot on her tongue, little tumor thing on the side. I knew she was still in here. I'm glad these guys that fish with night crawlers and live bait hadn't caught her yet and took her home and ate her. But she's a little bit skinny, summer weight. It was pre spawn in February, but she wasn't very fat. But she weighed way more. That giant guys, a freaking monster, dude. So happy. Let's get some pictures of her. 718. Second biggest fish of the year. This pond, this is why I keep coming to this pond. It's terrible, but there's some giants in here. That's how most ponds are. The ponds that don't have a lot of fish have a few big ones. And the ones that got a lot of fish, it's not enough food, there's no big ones. Alright guys, got a few pictures of her. Let her go. Actually caught this fish on a Spro Little John the first time. giant bass look at that we spur a little john then on the spinner bait now on a frog a big fish it's very important in, these, in the summer months guys you get these fish back in there real quick i definitely have had her out too long probably but let's get her back she's a big old warrior of a fish you stress them out when you have them out of water too long in the summer cold water don't, big fish don't mind the cold water there she goes why so I, I like those grippers too i can let them rest what a giant guys oh my god i'm pumped that is a huge fish right there that's why i keep coming to the sorry pond and getting skunked because eventually i'm gonna catch a giant i know they're in here well it started storming and the lightning so i'm gonna call it a day i mean i can fish in the rain all day i don't mind fishing the rain but when it starts lightning and you're out in the middle of the pond with a john boat with a rod in there it gets a little sketchy so I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. I fished about an hour and a half. It's going to be dark in about a half hour anyway. So I wouldn't have had much more time to fish. But I wish I could complete the challenge. The water was so muddy I couldn't really catch one on the popper or ribbon tail. But I caught a giant on the Junior Pad Crusher. Little bait. I'm definitely going to buy some big black frogs. Apparently, you know, I've always heard, you know, black and blue. Black's a big fish color. Frogs are fish. Frogs catch big fish anyway. So need some black frogs. I don't have one. I'm definitely going to pick one up. I love frog fishing, and that's why, guys, giant fish. Caught a seven-pounder out of here today. So I didn't complete the challenge, but in my mind, I did. Maybe I'll let the wife pick out some more baits, because apparently they'll catch giants. I fish this pond all the time. I know there's big fish in there, but there's barely any fish. Only bite I got all day, did three laps around the pond, was a giant. So that's why I come here. Big seven-pounder. That's, that's this huge fish for me, and I'm super happy about it. I mean, in bad conditions, the pond was muddy. That's when I caught the fish last time was when it was real muddy though. I didn't expect I didn't really expect to catch anything today. I'm kinda glad I caught one fish and it was a giant monster fish. 
hopefully we're about to buy a boat guys i'm hope i'm looking into getting a boat soon so hopefully when we get that started and get back on the lakes but that's why you fish ponds you catch giant seven pounders super happy and we'll see you on the next video well guys this is why you don't go off roading in the rain with two wheel drive i am officially stuck the rain's letting up but i can't even i gotta call somebody